Upon us, so much on the line of this rare unification fight between Kostya Zoo and Zab Judah. As we see. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with black trim, hailing from Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at a ready 139 and one half pounds. His undefeated record stands at 27 wins, no losses, one no contest, with 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the undefeated IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, introducing Zab, Super Judah! And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, originally from Serov, Russia, now fighting out of Sydney, Australia. He weighed in at the limit of 140 pounds even. His record stands at 27 by way of knockout. And here is the WBA and WBC super lightweight champion of the world, known as the Thunder from Down Under, introducing Kostya Zoom. Days ago, Zoo hit 32 two months back. The height even, nice five inch reach advantage for Judah. At yesterday's weigh in, Zoo right on. It's the belly button to the hip bone to the line. It's 12 rounds. Touch glove now, let's go to work. Each other, but they're not intimidated. No telling exactly how Zoo will start. He told us he had several plans. And as far as Judah, Often a very puzzling opponent. Referee Jay Nate, he brings them together. Here we go. Well, he's going to come out and put the pressure on his Kostya Zhu, but one of the things he doesn't want... We've seen Zhu look to test the heart and chin early of his opponents. He'll make you miss or make a mistake. The big hook, stiff jab. He knows how to bruise you up. Zhu to the free southpaw. Power in both fists. Don't grab. So even if you move to your left against the southpaw, it doesn't always Zab help. changes direct in directions in fractions of a second and hits you in the process. Sometimes he says he doesn't even know he's going to hit you. Yeah, Judah doesn't know where those punches are going, but Zoo says he does. Okay. I'm not sure how that works. I really don't. I mean, maybe as a radar. Psychic hotline. He says to stand in front of Zoo and slug with him would be silly, but he promised he wouldn't run. That's evil intent on it. Judah telling us the early stages of the fight will be pivotal. He's in the zoo here. Zoo, hang on. Wait, wait. Oh, you know, gets there first. Usually he was gets offered it. up by the Brooklynite Judah, who missed Stop. wildly with a left Stop. there. Box. Something I've noticed about the way Zoo's legs down. Zoo feeling Stop. the Stop. speed of Judah up. early. Right now, Judah looking too fast for Zoo. Look at the head movement by Judah, and then he comes through with a and whirling away with a left hook, continues to hit. Zuzu cannot move straight back against that beauty. He's too quick. Zou looks to be in trouble early against the speedy Zou. Zab letting Zou off the hook a little bit. Stop! No, no, no. Zou gets that. frustrated. Nice body shot underneath. That oh, Zou's coming forward. Ten seconds left in the first round. And he's connecting, not Stop. powerful. The right hand was okay, and the left hook to the body wasn't that clean, but he's getting the right idea. Punch, and there's an uppercut. Zab Judah lands first. And again, Kashizu cannot back up straight like that. Judah's just too quick. Judah's so quick. There it is, right on the button. And again, Kashizu goes straight back. Judah will close. Judah certainly living up the hill. The opening was will pretend. Stop! You can see Zab he respects his strength and power on the inside a lot. 12 rounds, of course, of AFC 10. Judah dancing around. Hard for Zuda catch. One of the more amazing things about Judah, even though he moves like that, he can stop on a diamond. He continues to be up on his toes, but Zhu stalking. Zhu coming forward. By Zhu. He's using a nice jab in this round so far. There's that jab again, but Judah counters with a, a jab of his own. 
Those punches were blocked by Kostyzou. Through this round, different round, much more effective for Zou. Maybe the best for Zou there. Stop! Put him up. Zou walking right into that right hand. Distance. A lot of heads open. Zou on the rampage stop, there. Stop. But tied up by Don't Judah Wise. A little bit, but not a lot. Judah giving him the angles, a lot of movement. Nice right hand and left. And a nice jab. Jab by Zhu. Zhu trying to find his range. Stop! Stop! Well, how do you find your range? Judah. The range changes all the time, Steve. Exactly. You have to come forward and work. And this you. round, evening, things up. And ending strong. Down he goes. A right hand. He's in trouble. He's in real trouble. It's over. over. Stops the fight in the second round. And it's over. Right right a right hand. Unbelievable. You know, Steve, was something I think the people as Zab Joda protests along with his people. Here at the setting for one of Mike Tyson's greatest disappointments to Evander Holy. Zab Judah. It was a good right hand. It was well timed. Again, coming forward, Kashizu has the power. Oh, look at that, Judah. And that could cost him. Steve, I do believe there's a rule that if a fighter goes down and then goes back down, that the fight stops. Now, I'm not sure in these unified rules that that's going to pertain to every sanctioned body, but years ago, I saw a fighter get up, get up, and it's the referee said, no, take a knee, took a knee, take an eight count, and the referee called it off. Well, Zab being consoled by his dad and trainer, Yoel, just trying to calm him down so he doesn't do any damage here. In a uh, tumultuous situation, very tenuous. That's going to pertain to every sanctioned body, but years ago, I saw a fighter. Well, just trying to tell him to chill right now. And a smiling Kostya Zou hasn't done much smiling all weekend. Finally gets an opportunity to do that. Oh, man. What a turn of events. And well, there's Tyson. Not assigned a fighter escort or the ring quarters outside the ring and circling. Looking a little shocked and dismayed. Let's get the official announcement anyway from our ring announcer. Uh, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. The thunder from down under. Kostya Zoo. The odds on that happening was 22 to 1, but Kostya Zoo overall a 3 to 1 underdog, but able to uh, hold on to the belts. And then add the IBF belt of Zab Zuna, who continues to... We'll get uh, clarification on the rule uh, from Executive Director of the Le Nevada State Athletic Commission, Mark Ratner.